Every weekend, I used to travel to my secluded cabin, deep in the forest. It was my sanctuary, a place where I could escape the stresses of everyday life and reconnect with nature. I inherited the cabin from my grandfather, and it holds a lot of sentimental value for me. I spent my days fishing in the nearby lake, cooking meals over the open fire, and relaxing in front of the fireplace. On one trip, on the second night at the cabin, I began to hear noises, strange noises outside. I brushed it off, as it, I thought it was just wind in the trees, but I can't shake the feeling of, of unease. It's that feeling, you know, when you get, when someone's watching you, or you feel like someone else is there when you're alone. I decided to investigate, but I could find nothing out of the ordinary. I thought it could have been a wild animal, or a tree branch that fell out of a tree. It was a little windy. But the sounds were too close to the cabin. I couldn't shake off the feeling that something was watching me. After a few hours, the noises kind of went away, so I felt relieved. I settled back into my routine, but as I was about to go to bed, I heard a little bit of a noise coming from the attic. I haven't done any inspections recently, so I thought, okay, well, maybe some mice got in, or there's just some wind coming through a vent. I don't know. So I climbed the ladder to investigate, but again, I find nothing. No holes, nothing amiss, and I start to question my own sanity. I thought maybe I was just going to, I thought I was just imagining things. I try to shake off the feeling of dread, but I had settled in my pit of my stomach. Just as I'm drifting off to sleep, I hear noises in the hallway. I start to think to myself, what is going on here? Am I just going crazy? I keep hearing noises outside, inside, in the attic, but nothing's ever there. And this has never happened to me at the cabin before. Usually this is a place of peace and serenity. So I finally decided to get up and check it out. As I open the door and peer around the corner, at the end of the hallway, I see the creature. It's tall, hairy, it looks like a man. But in the lights I have installed in the hallways, I can see that it's hairy. It's a Bigfoot and its eyes are glowing, red in the darkness. My heart races as the creature charges towards me. I run, trying to find a way out of the cabin. I manage to grab a knife from the kitchen and use it to fend off the creature as it chases me through the cabin. It punches me, I stab it back, but it doesn't seem to slow it down. I keep running, I'm tripping over couches, and I finally find the door to the cabin and run out of the door and begin running through the forest. I finally make it to my fishing boat, and I paddle as fast as I can to get to help. After a few strokes with the paddles, I'm out to pretty deep water, and I look back and I see the creature just standing on the shore. Thank goodness it can't swim, or at least that's what I hope. I'm shaking with fear, but I know I need to get to safety still. I paddle to the nearest village, and wake up the sheriff to tell him what happened. The sheriff doesn't believe me at first, but I am insistent. I know what I saw. The sheriff decides to investigate the cabin with me. I'm hesitant to go back, but I figure he's armed, he knows what he's doing, and who knows, maybe I'm just crazy. When we arrive at the cabin, we find it in shambles. The creature is gone, but the damage is done. My sanctuary is destroyed, and I can't shake off the feeling of being watched still. The sheriff takes my statement and agrees to send a search party to investigate the area. But they find no trace of the creature, or anything else. I'm left wondering what happened that night. I'm still questioning my own sanity, thinking maybe I was just imagining things. Was I the one that thrashed my cabin? Was there an intruder that... Was this not a Bigfoot? A man in a costume? But I know deep down that I know what I saw was real. I can't shake off the feeling of that creature is still out there watching me. The incident at the cabin has left a deep impact on me, and I decided to sell the cabin and never return. The memories of that night are too much for me to bear. I still have nightmares about the creature and its red eyes to this day. I can't even go out into the forest to this day alone.